learn how to make a mechanical clock using 3D printing, servo motors, a couple of servo motor drivers, and an ESP32 development board. We start by modeling our pieces in 3D design software. In this case, we use SOLIDWORKS. If you want to use our model, in the description of this video, you will find the link so you can download it. Once the design is ready, we move on to the 3D printing. This time, we use two filament colors. We will see why later. Make sure you have good print settings to get strong and precise parts. While we wait for the 3D printing to finish, we will make the connections between the server motor drivers and the ESP32 board. When the pieces are ready, we are going to take the segments, which are the blue pieces, and we are going to paint them black on the sides and back. This will help create a visual contrast, making the numbers easier to read. When the pieces are dry, we begin assembly. We start by gluing the couplings to our segments, and while the adhesive dries completely, we will place the servos on the base. Once the connections are finished, we can upload the firmware to our ESP32 board, which will be responsible for updating the time from a Wi-Fi network that can be configured in the code. If necessary, you can make mechanical adjustments to the digits from the firmware. In the video's description, we'll leave you a link with this code so you can use it if you need it. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Follow us on our social networks and visit deepseadev.com to be updated about IoT, firmware, hardware, prototyping, and more.